All right, let's do Horror from the Deep, which is necessary for access to the Dagnoth Lair and God Books. You need to have level 35 agility, which is boostable, and you also have to be able to defeat a level 100 monster that attacks with ranged and melee. And unfortunately, it's really only feasible to defeat her with magic, so I recommend having at least level 35 magic. If you're some sort of non-magic pure, this is going to be a tough battle. I'll go into detail later, but make sure you have plenty of rings of recoil. And having level 40 prayer is going to make this final boss fight a whole lot easier. The only necessary quest you need to have completed is the Alfred Grimhand Bar Crawl mini quest, which you can find a link to my guide in the description box. You can check if you've completed it by scrolling all the way to the bottom of your quest list. In your inventory, you should have 60 steel nails, a hammer, one swamp tar, a tinderbox, molten glass, one fire rune, water rune, earth rune, and air rune, and any sword you don't care about losing. If you're anything like me, you have some hoarding tendencies and there are 15 bronze swords in your bank right now, so just grab one of those. Same goes for the one arrow. If you've got bronze, use that or any old arrow you don't need. Also have a games necklace with a few teleports in it, and if you have fairy ring access, using a fairy ring to get to the start of the quest is useful, so grab your draymon staff and any way to get to an entrance of a fairy ring. In your bank, you should have magic armor and weapon. Mystic robes would be great, preferably something like an air staff. I ended up casting bolt spells 100 times to defeat the boss, so have enough runes for casting a few hundred fire, water, earth, and air spells, along with food, magic potion, prayer potion, and defense potion. To start the quest, we need to get to the lighthouse north of the barbarian outpost. The fastest ways to get there are either to use the Barbarian Outpost Teleport on your game's necklace, or if you have access to Fairy Rings, you can use the Fairy Ring Teleport ALP. If you're coming from the Barbarian Outpost, we've got to get across this rocky path, which can take a few tries. But when you make it across, run up the hill and talk to Larissa. She says she needs help, ask her with what. She says her boyfriend lives here in the lighthouse and he's gone missing and the light has gone out. We ask her if she's sure that he hasn't just gone on vacation. Ask her how can I help when prompted and we've got to do four things. Get the lighthouse key from her cousin, fix the bridge to the east, get the lighthouse working again, and find Larissa's boyfriend. Say he'll help and then I'll see what I can do. So now use your game's necklace teleport back to the Barbarian Outpost, and let's go talk to Larissa's cousin to get the lighthouse key. Run around here to the east, and then go through the gate into the agility course. This is why we had to do the bar crawl mini quest, just to be able to get in here. So go south, and squeeze through the obstacle pipe, and keep going this way to find a guy named Gunjorn. You'll talk to him, explain the situation, and then he'll give you the key. Okay, now head back out of the agility course the way you came in, through the agility pipe, and out the gate. At the north here, you should find a few planks. If they aren't showing up, just hop worlds and grab two of them. With your two planks and lighthouse key, head back across the rocky path to the lighthouse. Now instead of going all the way to the lighthouse, go east instead. Keep running down the path until you get to a broken bridge. Select one of your planks and use it on the bridge. You'll hammer it in and then click on the bridge to cross it. Now grab your other plank and use it on this half of the bridge. And yay, it's fixed? Uh, sure. Okay, back the way we came to the lighthouse. When you get there, talk to Larissa. She says, great, let's go into the lighthouse. And now we have the key, you can just click on the door to enter. Go 
up the staircase and then click on the bookshelf on the northern wall. Grab all three books and then page through the manual and the diary. The lighthouse manual tells us how to fix the lighthouse and the diary is from some dude who likes Dagonoth a little too much. Now go up the staircase again and let's fix the lighthouse. First use your swamp tar on this big part in the middle and then use your tinder box on it and then your molten glass on it and la da, okay it's working now. Okay, go all the way back down the staircase to the ground floor and then down this iron ladder into the basement. Well, it's less of a basement, more of a cavern dungeon. If you take a look to the north, you'll see we've got this strange wall thing. So now use each of your four runes, sword, and arrow on the strange wall. And then if you click on it, you can see that each of the spots is filled. So now we can enter the Dagnoth Lair. However, as soon as we do, it's battle time. So actually use your games necklace to head back out to the Barbarian Outpost to prepare for the battle. So the Dagonoth Mother is an interesting fight since she can only be damaged by certain attack styles depending on her color, and the reason I recommend using magic is because two-thirds of the time she's immune to any sort of melee or ranged attack. And that is on top of her regular defensive stats, where she's got a hefty defense bonus against melee. And in addition, she's immune to poison and venom, so that's not an option either. You can see here, white means immune to everything but air spells, blue immune to everything but water spells, brown earth spells, red fire spells, and orange is when she can be weakened by melee, and green means weak to ranged. So yeah, magic is really your best bet, and if you have to use melee or ranged, bring rings of recoil, although allegedly according to the wiki, if she dies from the recoil damage you have to redo the fight, so just make sure you deal the final blow. She attacks with range and melee, but if you have level 40 prayer to cast the protect from missiles prayer, you can effectively safe spot her. So for magic users, bring your best magic armor. A set of mystic robes would be great if you've got the level 40 magic and 20 defense required to wear them. Zerishian robes are another option if you don't have mystic robes. And uh, just be careful, don't hurt yourself laughing too hard at this excessively noob setup I have here. Oh man, I look fresh off the boat from Tutorial Island, but I couldn't be bothered to get a set of proper robes. I just grabbed each thing I had with the highest magic bonus for each slot. Anti-Dragon Shield is also a decent choice because it offers a few points of defense without negatively affecting your magic attack. I'd say for this fight, bringing an air staff is also a good choice because then you don't have to bring any air runes. So hopefully you have level 35 magic and therefore can cast all four types of chaos rune level spells. For reference, it did take me exactly 100 casts to defeat this guy and at level 53 magic while wearing this noob armor, but I would bring double that. Because obviously if you run out in the middle of the battle, you are going to have to start over from the beginning if you leave and come back. Also bring your games necklace for a quick way back to Barbarian Outpost. You do not need to bring your lighthouse key, so use that extra space to bring food instead and then prayer potion if you're planning on safe spotting her. And I also brought magic potion for a level boost and super defense potion and then of course food. So when you're ready to head out, go north to the lighthouse again. Then go inside and down the ladder. Click to the side of the puzzle thing we did before to open the strange wall. Then climb down the iron ladder and talk to Jossic. And before you talk to Jossic, check to make sure your auto-retaliate is off. He says that there's some weird creatures down here. Surprise! Continue the conversation and then the Dagnoth will appear out of the water. Oh no! This is the first Dagonoth, which you can attack any way you want, so just use the most powerful spell you have and turn on Protect from melee if you can. Once you defeat it, Jossic will warn you that the thing you just killed was not the creature that attacked him, and then the mother Dagonoth will appear. Turn on your Protect from missiles and then run north and then east to get to the safe spot. It can kind of be hard to tell what color she is, but check on the chat box.
box for the message that tells you about her color changes and then update your spell to match her weakness. So you can see I shouldn't actually have attacked her there since she was orange, and orange means attack with melee. Okay, now she changed to red, which means fire spells. So you can see I actually start to get some hits on her. So just keep updating your spells to match her color, and then hang out when she's orange or green. After a while, hopefully you'll defeat her. And the moment you do, you are transported out of the dungeon and will have completed the quest. And you'll notice that you have a rusty casket in your inventory. So we've got to go get that opened. So climb up the ladder, then up the staircase, and talk to Jossic. Seems to have recovered nicely. So he's going to ask you which god book you want. God book being an item you can equip in your shield slot, with each god book giving different stats. The one you'll get from Jossic now will be damaged, so it won't give you the bonuses, but you can buy all the pages to repair it. If you tell him the casket says Saradamon, you'll get the Holy Book, which gives plus 8 defense bonus to all combat types. If you pick Zamorak, you'll get an Unholy Book, which gives plus 8 attack bonus to all combat types. And if you pick Guthix, you'll get the Book of Balance, which gives plus 4 to all attack types and plus 4 defense against all attack types. And once you pick one, he asks if you're sure and you have the option to confirm your selection. Don't get too hung up on choosing because after this you can buy each damage god book from Jossic here in the lighthouse for 5,000 coins each. And that is all for this quest. If you liked it, be great if you left me a like and subscribed, and thanks for watching.